What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you what seems to be the popular series so far on the channel is the Town Hall 9 Attack Guide. So what we're going to be talking about today is Kill Squads. I got versions uh, that, we, that we'll be breaking down for you guys. Versions with one, two, three, and even four golems will break down the attacks, and they are attacks featured from our CWL invite war uh, last weekend against WHF. Before we do that, and I know this is not a big farming channel, I know you guys aren't all about that, so what I was thinking I could do is incorporate uh, a little bit of my mini and just show you guys my progress real quick. It won't take more than 30 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and dive right into the action in this Town Hall 9 attack guide. Real quick on Baby Rigs. I cannot wait until this account is ready. We have the Clan Castle, which is now, well, I guess max Town Hall 9 level. Uh, we're still working on getting our defenses up to Town Hall 8. The new defenses you get at Town Hall 9, getting those uh, to the max Town Hall 8 level before we start upgrading more we do have quite a few lego walls a few updates ago the walls were reduced so i mean it's only a million so it's not a whole lot uh, that it takes actually since we're here and we do have a free builder go ahead and upgrade one we'll go ahead and go ahead and upgrade two uh, just got two legos done so knocking those out very, very quickly. This air defense finish, we're going to go ahead and drop it. And we do have our Archer Queen, guys, going to level 10. And I should have enough dark, just under 20K. Uh, I should have enough dark. So right when she wakes up, I'll go ahead and drop her. And she'll be going to level 11 in no time. That's the progress on the Town Hall 9. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check out how to use an effective kill squad at Town Hall 9. All right, guys, Town Hall 9 attack guide back in full effect. This is already episode four in this series. Uh, like I said, to start off the video, what we're going to be breaking down is kill squads and how effective they are at the Town Hall 9 level. We're going to start off with poor self controls hit. Uh, he's going to be doing a CB kill squad. Uh, meaning cold-blooded, meaning one golem. So he's using a Lalo. So as you can see, very cheaply, only using one golem, a small kill squad, only going to be using a poison and a jump uh, for this part of the kill squad. What he's aiming for is taking out those two air defenses. So like I always say in the Tahoe 9 attack guide, a lot of these go hand in hand. Uh, base identification, value, uh, and, and breaking down what you can get with a kill squad. So as you see, he's starting off with just a few wizards, goes ahead and drops down his jump and also exposing the weakness where there's not a lot of defenses protecting these two air defenses, which is what he wants to take down. Uh, and only using one golem, you're not going very spell heavy when you're only using one golem for a kill squad. As you can see, he's only using a jump, a poison for the enemy CC, and he's also going to be, ha and he also is grabbing the enemy queen inside that same poison. So both his heroes going in, both air defenses already down at this time, and the CC was a hound. Uh, so you see queen is also carving a defense funnel or a defense path for the Lalo portion of this attack, which is going to be starting over at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. And you can see uh, with the spread out air defense layout down here at the bottom, and you have all these defenses clumped around them, uh, going very, very heavy on the initial deployment. He's going to be one shying these defenses, hasting them in, and uh, going to be having a nice rage right there in the core over both of the Expos and also uh, going to be one-shotting those wizard towers. Also has some reinforcement balloons and his max level hound coming out of the CC just to help clear the remaining defenses on the back end of this base. So again, highlighting the effectiveness of one golem uh, just to take out a couple small key objectives, the queen, the enemy CC when you don't know what it is, and taking out those two air defenses. So a very, very nice attack by by poor self-control and we are going to show you guys one more uh one more uh cb kill squad 
uh, cold-blooded entry. This one is with ground. I want to show the variation between a air attack using CB, a CB entry, and the difference between a CB entry going ground. So the main objective is still going to be taking down that enemy queen. If you don't get that enemy queen down, uh, your hog rate is pretty much over. She basically one shots your hogs. Uh, so what you can see here. And this one, this one was actually a cleanup. So there were a couple of troll Teslas that Paul did bring a couple of balloons for. Uh, as you can see, with the high HP buildings being the town hall, the gold, the gold storage, the dark elixir storage, and the elixir storage, it'd be very, very hard to sue your heroes to take out the enemy queen. That's why something like a CB kill squad bringing one golem along, and there's also a Tesla uh, protecting that queen as well, bring something like a golem leaving just enough tanking power for your heroes and a couple funneling troops to get through those high HP buildings things push a little bit into the base and Paul's only using a poison on this kill squad like I said in uh, poor self controls raid when you're using a CB kill squad you are not using that many spells the majority of your spells are for are for what you're using on the back end whether it's Lalo or something like hogs he's starting over at the nine uh, at the, excuse me at the three o'clock corner of the base uh, hogs coming through going very very heavy also bringing max hogs along in the CC very interesting that both of these CB kill squads did not use bowlers. Uh, PSC went with the Max Hound. Paul's going uh, with the Max Hogs on his hog attack. But I definitely wanted to highlight uh, the difference between uh, the CB kill squad when you're attacking uh, with air on the back end and a CB kill squad when you're attacking with ground. Again, definitely wanted to highlight that and uh, the difference in what you're looking for. Poor self-control saw an easy way to grab two air defenses and the enemy queen using one golem. Uh, Paul went ahead and set up a nice defense funnel and made sure he took out the enemy queen. Obviously, air defenses do not matter uh, so much on a ground attack. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check out what we would call a shattered kill squad, that being two golems. As you can see, with the queen pretty much centralized right in the middle of the base, you're, it'd be very, very difficult to get her with one golem, and it'd even be more difficult to get her with something uh, like suiciding your heroes. That's why NECA is going to go ahead and bring two golems on this attack. Uh, so, And he is going to be going a little bit heavier uh, on the spells. He's going to be bringing a jump, and he does have that max poison that he does have in the clan castle. He does have three heal spells for his hogs on the back end. So starting with his pair of golems uh, and also a couple wall breakers, uh, he goes ahead and gets the wall prop no problem. So he's going to get incredible value from that jump. Even if he had a wall breaker fail, bringing that jump still would, would, would still ensure that he would take out the enemy queen. Notice he's getting a lot of defenses down with his heroes. Those golems doing a an excellent job of tanking for both of his heroes and notice NECA did not bring bowlers on this attack either max level seven hogs are completely wrecking uh, at the town hall nine level uh, so just with the poison bring two poisons uh, for this uh, kill squad and a jump look at the defense funnel that he's already carved pretty much eliminated the entire top sh uh, section of the base and hogs have a beautiful path over here and you can see there's no question where they're going to be going into this base he is saving a couple hogs uh, to take out that mortar on the back end making sure all the hogs stay inside of the base in one sweeping motion we'll go ahead and press play real quick uh, keep this attack going so nice heal spell with these three heal spells and the uh, area that he carved out with this shattered entry all three of those heal spells can pretty much cover every single one of these defenses left in the base. Uh, went ahead and dropped his first heal spell. Down goes his second. All he has is the wizard tower, the cannon, and the Tesla left on the back end. Still has a heal spell and a whole wad of hogs left. And it all starts with the kill squad entry. Getting incredible value uh, from this kill squad right here and end up completely wrecking the space. Uh, there was a single giant bomb uh, that was outside, neck, uh, outside the wall. 
on the other side of that Tesla. So beautiful heel spell placement, making sure that he ends the raid with plenty of hogs to clean it up. Even his queen survived the remainder of this raid. Beautiful attack uh, by NECA. He has been red hot lately. Okay. So we've looked at two CB kill squads. We've looked at a shattered kill squad. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the infamous Fabi attack performed by no one else than Fabi himself. Uh, he is on his uh, posse account and he's going to be demonstrating uh, the Fabi, which is using a stone kill squad, that being three golems. Definitely want to highlight this and especially uh, getting this three star uh, in the war against W. UHF. And with this one, he is going to be having a queen walk. Uh, I will actually, you know what, I'll have that linked at the end of the video so you guys can check out exactly how to do this attack uh, using the Fabi. Uh, but he is going to be bringing three golems, has two golems in the camp for the initial push. Plus he has a maxed uh, golem that's going to be coming out of the CC, which is now at level seven. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see how he breaks this base down uh, and going to be using three jumps and and a rage on this kill squad using all his spells on this kill squad. So notice he starts, uh, starts with the max level golem. Gonna get incredible value uh, from this golem on this push. Uh, once he goes ahead and pops the wall, goes ahead and drops down one camp golem, followed by a whole bunch of wizards. You can bring anywhere from 15 to 20 wizards on this attack. Uh, does drop a loon there uh, just to make sure that there's no black bombs to make sure his healer survived. So Queen just started the initial funnel and Kill Squad went in at 9 o'clock. And he's just going to have three jumps on each quadrant of this base. First one down at 9, has another jump up there at 12. Uh, and he's just flanking wizards. He does have uh, the third or excuse me, yeah, the third golem up there at 12 o'clock by more wizards, making sure uh, that the golems keep going around this base. You can clearly see the path that this kill squad is taking on this push. Uh, you can clearly see that they're going clockwise around the base. Notice the third jump spell leads all his troops into the last quadrant of this base uh, over here at three o'clock. Notice, guys, that his level seven golem has not even popped, just to show how strong this golem is uh, using it at the Town Hall 9 level. Still has, I mean, he doesn't even have any Golemites left. Pretty much all Golems are still at full health. That's how powerful this attack is on these bases that have uh, what we call dead zones uh, where there's no, pretty much no defenses inside of the core uh, for your troops to go all sorts of crazy. And again, uh, still has a Camp Golem and his max level 7 Golem still up all kinds of wizards. So pretty much using a kill squad to take out the entire base with the help of a small queen walk. Fobby doing the Fobby again. Uh, I'll have a breakdown on how exactly to do this attack uh, in the thumbnail at the end of the video. Okay, guys, here is going to be our last example. This is using four golems, also known as brimstone, where you're pretty much going to be taking out damn near 70 if not eight, you know, 80% of the base with your kill squad, notice the air defense layout. You can clearly see uh, with a proper entry into this base and a proper funnel using bowlers, this will actually be the first attack that we're seeing bowlers used in, you can just completely devastate a base uh, all the way until the back end as we're going to see Slob on my gob completely wreck this. Starting with a golem on that mortar uh, just up at about 9 o'clock. Uh, 9, 10 o'clock, Golem down with about three to four wizards. Same thing at the mortar over at the bottom section of the base, uh, dropping down to Camp Golem. And again, about three to four wizards, just starting a nice tight funnel. Wizards taking out those defenses over the walls, uh, going super heavy on this kill squad, guys. That's what we're highlighting in this attack is the variation of kill squads you can bring at the Town Hall 9 level. Uh, notice he has his two Golems down. 
that are going to be going. So he had one golem at the bottom, one golem over at nine o'clock to trim the funnel, two golems going in, wall breaks in, sending his bowlers and both heroes behind. Notice that jump spell inside of the core is going to get all of his uh, troops inside the core. Uh, also has a rage and a heal for them as well. Uh, notice he also brings a second jump uh, to get his troops all the way into the back end of the space. And notice down in the troop bar, uh, Slob still has eight balloons to deploy, still has queen ability, a haste, and two wizards. Uh, you can see there are Teslas over there on the back end, but being very, very patient, letting this kill squad work. There was one cannon over there at about 10 o'clock uh, that did escape the clutches of this kill squad. Just goes ahead and drops down one loon, takes it out no problem, uh, goes ahead and drops a couple balloons on those two teslas on the back end notice he still has his queen ability in the bag and there's nothing left kill squad is still up still has some bowlers still has a couple golems left as well so those are the variations that you can bring with your kill squads at town hall nine whether it's one golem whether it's two golems uh whether you're bringing three golems and in this attack that uh, just unfolded in front of your eyes, uh, Slaw bringing a four golem kill squad, uh, going very, very light on the back end, uh, putting all your spells in that kill squad and bringing something like bowlers can completely devastate a base uh, when you're using, again, all these things kind of incorporate with each other, exposing weaknesses, base identification, and using a proper kill squad to take down these Town Hall 9s. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was the fourth installment to the Town Hall 9 Attack Guide. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of these variations of different kill squads used at the Town Hall 9 level. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, of course, if you have not already, like the video. If you liked it, again, leave any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. As always... This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.